whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Where'd you go last time? It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit hectic in here with all the motorbikes. Guys, we're here at Lotte. We're gonna replenish our groceries because we're pretty low on that right now. Um, after, we're gonna go to our local market to get some fresh fruit and then we're gonna go get a smoothie. Let's go! Now that we have a scooter, we've been uh, bringing the scooter to Lotte and the parking lot here usually gets extremely full, but today we're pretty fortunate to have some empty spaces. But as you can see here, there are tons of bikes already. There's hardly anybody here. This is awesome. I know, it's usually really full. Well, I think it was really full. Maybe, during Tet. Yeah, during Tet. So now that the holiday is over, or uh, like Tet is winding down, it's not as busy, but the first few times that we came here, it was a madhouse. It was packed. Um, so it's, it's quite refreshing to not have to uh, battle the crowds. I think, uh, a lot of people come here to hang out, not necessarily yeah. the grocery shop. Oh yeah, because this is like a megaplex. Uh, there are five floors. We're actually going to go to the top floor right now to the food court. But there's yeah. also a movie theater and like an arcade. So this is a map of Da Nang. Lotte is located right here. In... We live here. Yeah, so we're pretty close to the beach. Driving to Lotte is less than 10 minutes. We're now in the food court on the fifth floor. This is the place to be. Uh, as you can hear, it's pretty lively behind me. The fifth floor is home to a arcade, some karaoke booths, a movie theater, and the food court. There's about four restaurants in the food court and then uh, a few more vendors around here. But we're grabbing something to eat before we go shopping for some groceries. Uh, the floor below us is the grocery store and then the third floor is uh, where you get home goods. So like sponges, things cosmetics. like that. Yeah, cosmetics as well. So we're gonna go to both floors because we need things from both of them. They've got tons of noodles. This here is the Vietnamese section. Uh, more Vietnamese and Southeast Asian. Here is like your generic cup of noodles. On the other side are Korean. This entire section is noodles. We're trying to be as discreet as possible so we don't get uh, called out for recording in here. But uh, the first time we came to Lotte, we found these noodles that were apparently a popular uh, souvenir for Vietnam. And so we just, there are two flavors. We decided to get one of each, go home and try it, not having any expectations. Was so good. Come to find out, it was so good. And every time we've come back, we've tried to find them, but they're always gone. Like, they're. <laughs> So they're like European style. Yeah, it's like pasta. Um, yeah. Spaghetti and like a carbonara kind yeah. of thing. And they were so good. It was really weird yeah. how really like oddly good. delicious yeah. they were. And so we've been craving it, but we cannot... <laughs> I guess we come too late and you Maybe know, people like, wipe, uh, wipe them out. I think people just wait here by the noodle shells for them to stock it and yeah. they just swipe them all up all because gone. a lot of the tourists they leave here with boxes like you'll see them with boxes taped up uh, leaving the grocery store but yeah the shelf is already empty and we we unfortunately knew as we were walking in when we saw an empty spot on the shelf but it was what was uh, gone <laughs> anyways next time there's also an international zone for all imported items in case you're missing things from home. There's a lot of Koreans um, that come to Da Nang and there's a lot of Korean products here. So we're gonna try these two sodas. We have a mango sparkling and a watermelon. Yummy. Let's try that. Oh. One of the Korean um, vloggers I follow, she eats these. These are from Taiwan. These are really good. Nougat biscuit peanut. Oh my god, these look so good. So we're gonna pick up some veggie soup broth. 
because I want to make some congee. Uh, for anyone who is a vegetarian, they have a small vegetarian section on aisle 14 too. They also have um, dried vegan meat. So they have, what is it, pork, chicken, vegan, chicken wow. um, some vegan fish, some wheat slices. So I know you're probably wondering if we're vegan or vegetarian because in a lot of our videos we've been going to vegetarian restaurants but we're pescatarian and yeah. uh, so we don't eat meat we just eat seafood and when we go out to eat we we tend it, to go to vegetarian restaurants right so we don't have to like especially when we're traveling because we don't have to explain like that no we meat. don't eat meat or not meat so if you just go to a restaurant with all vegetables it's easier that way yeah. um, so we're looking at this this section because um, you know where we we like to have meat substitutes from time to time just to satiate mm -hmm. and satisfy that particular craving of that yeah. texture which is why we're looking at these things but yeah, if you're wondering, we're not vegan. This is one of the cheapest beers that you can get. So, less than 50 cents per can. Good. If you haven't been to Vietnam, coffee here is a huge deal. Uh, they have so many different options here. They have two different, they have two aisles full of coffee. Vietnamese coffee is delicious. Mm -hmm. Got some really interesting mm -hmm. snacks here. So um, chocolate covered mango. Mm -hmm. Look at this. What's lotus. that? Lotus chocolate root covered chocolate lotus root. Whoa. Crunchy. That look like the hats. These are so good. Yeah, they're delicious. Whoa. Oh my god, my favorite things. That looks so good. Good too. So Laura is in snack heaven. A snackaholic. I've never met anyone who likes to snack as much as my wife. <laughs> and she's not even the worst of it. Apparently, she knows people who snack way more than my her. My mother. My mother. <laughs> Hi, mom. Um, but I've got to give it up for Lotte in Vietnam. Um, I'm not sure if it's unique to, to this lote or not, but the snack game is on point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you just spend like some time going down through the snack aisles just to see like the different things they have. Yeah. And they're so delicious and We've interesting already been looking. in this aisle for about 10 minutes. Just looking at everything. <laughs> and this is just one snack aisle. There's like five more. <laughs> These Gary cheese crackers are super popular here. You see like tourists in the store just have boxes of them. Like not just like one box, I mean like an actual shipping box, shipping box of these crackers. Um, they're pretty good. I think I overdid it. Uh, I wouldn't get these again because they're a little strong, but when I first had it, it was really tasty. And I haven't tried these yet, but these also look good. These are the coconut crackers. All of the important stuff is inside. <laughs> Laura's holding some of it and also have some stuff right here. Just gotta work with the space that we have. Right, babe? Yeah. She's ready. Ready. We're headed to the market now, or uh, the local market, to pick up some fruits. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Where did you go last time? It's <laughs> It's a, it's a little bit hectic in here with all the motorbikes. Last time I was here, there weren't any people at all. I, it was, I think it was just me. Yeah. It was just me and like a uh, grandma. <clears throat> but um, yeah, we're at Chobak Mayan Market, which is not too far from Lotte and where we live. We're here primarily to pick up some fresh fruits. I uh, already got some vegetables and uh, our packaged goods, but we're here to get some fruit because it's fresh and cheaper than it is at the, at the grocery store. This is where I got the garlic. 
Ừ, 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 There is so much happening in this one aisle of the market right now. Like, you have the vendors on both sides, people walking up and down, and then you have the motorbikes just like pushing people over. It's ridiculous. This is crazy. So, looking for. Okay, so we got our frit, frish. <laughs> okay. okay, so we got our fish and um, our fruit. It all came out to about 130,000 dong, which is uh, about five dollars and sixty-five cents. Not bad for all the food we got. Um, <laughs> um, it's kind of wild, this market, because it's a Saturday evening and there's a lot of people driving um, right in front of the food stands and just picking up and driving along. Um, but we, we parked, so we're gonna head out and uh, we haven't really eaten today. <sighs> Let's go. So we're here at our favorite smoothie spot. Yes, it's finally open. I know. How much uh, are these, like 17? Uh, it varies, but the prices are very, very cheap. Cool thing about this place is that the prices are listed on the menu, which is just behind us on the wall, and then they have one that you can hold inside. But they range from, uh, I think, 15 to like 35 or so. Um, obviously, with more premium ingredients, it's higher. Uh, I got an avocado and banana smoothie, which they normally don't mix, and this is twenty thousand dollars. And Laura got a mango and banana. Mango and banana, which is fifteen thousand. So uh, both of our smoothies will be thirty-five thousand. So less than two dollars for both of these. It's a great deal. This is our first time hanging out here. Laura and I's first time together hanging out, but my second time because oh. I came here by myself the other day. Okay. Yesterday, actually. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's so good. Mm, this is so refreshing. I'm, I'm, I'm getting old, over the sickness this past week. I really haven't had an appetite. The only thing I've really been craving are smoothies. And juice. And, and juice. So this is making me really happy right now. So we just had dinner. We ate the catfish that we got from the market. We made it into like a black pepper, garlic, like saucy kind. Um, it was really good. Tony cooked it. He's a good cook. Um, now we're gonna have these chocolates. These dark chocolate with coffee cream and these coconut wafers. These are really interesting because they they look like um, like the hats, like the Vietnamese traditional style, like pointy hats. And it looks like there's a drawing of a woman on there too. So I'm gonna show you what they look like because I think they're super interesting. All right, just open them. And yeah, they look like the little hats. So cute. Yeah, let's put it on Tony. <laughs> yeah, so they look like that. And see if it's good. There's like little inscriptions on there. Looks really cute. Okay. Is it made I don't know. Oh, it's hard. It's not like the picture. It was like just a little bit of filling in there, I think. Does it taste like 
restaurant. Mmm. Not really. It's good. But it tastes just like It just tastes like dark chocolate. All right. Good night. <laughs>